Please subscribe to Apple Bean Fan TV. Hello Red Army and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm building up to the Kilmarnock versus Aberdeen game down at Rugby Park tomorrow as a 3 o'clock kickoff. And coming into this game it's really the first break that we've had for quite a while because obviously we've had all the Europa League games and we've had the season start so we've had the Hearts game, the St Mirren game, the Dundee game and the Cup in all be all between in the Europa League games which obviously we're out of now so that's really calmed it all down so while well, I've had quite a, a decent break about six, six days between the match against Dundee and then the Kilmarnock game tomorrow so it's the, the, the longest break we've had in a couple of weeks so the players really shouldn't be tired coming into this although um we did get pushed to extra time last week by Dundee you know that was six days ago so I still think that we shouldn't be tired from that and we should be coming into this game 100% ready for the challenge that Kilmarnock are going to throw at us and talking about Kilmarnock for a minute and I just want to talk about Steve Clark who left them um at the end of the, uh, last season when it was coming into the summer I left him for the Scotland job so Steve Clark showing brilliant loyalty to Kilmarnock you know getting them into Europe doing amazingly well and just saying you know I'm off by it the first offer he gets um, shows how much loyalty he showed to Kilmarnock a bit so um, I, don't, I don't know what went on there if it was a falling out I don't think it was I think Steve Clark just wanted to move to the to the better job so he went to this to manage Scotland and you know just left Kilmarnock in Kilmarnock since then they've been a bit of a on a downfall. You know, they lost on the Europa League to Connors Key, which was just embarrassing, wasn't it? You know, going out to part timers, you know, um you'll see all of those players um doing plumbing and um just work at part time footballers, you know, and they're they're losing to them, you know, that was just disgraceful. And they lost their first game of the season 2-1 to Rangers, probably should have been a lot more. And they lost their second game in the league campaign 2-0 to Hamilton away from home, which is even worse. Although they did get through the, the second round of the Betfred Cup with a 1-0 win against Hamilton at Rugby Park, but that was definitely not very convincing. And it's hopefully they don't start picking up form here because it wouldn't be a great game for us if that does happen. And I do think it's probably the perfect time to play Kilmarnock at this stage because you know they're just coming into this into the season. They're under a new manager. They're trying to play under his philosophy, and hopefully we can pounce and pick up the three, the three points here. But they'll be thinking the same thing. It's kind of a, the perfect time for them to play us because um, we're coming off the back of some poor results and performances mainly the Vierka games and um, the St Mirren game and even the game last week against Dundee where we scraped the win when I think a lot of people could argue we didn't really deserve it so um yeah we're, we're not we're not in good form at the moment although our form in the first bit of the season for the Vops games for the Chukura games for the Hearts games you know it was looking really good and it's kind of just gone all downhill from there but hopefully we can start and pick, we start again, really, and just pick up that form because this makes this game so much more important than it was what a couple of weeks ago. Although this game is still really important, but the way that we lost to St Mirren after losing that, that's just in the second game of the season. We really we have to pick up the three points here because I think in the month of August with the teams at Hearts at home, at St Mirren away, and um Kilmarnock away and Ross County at home. Out of those games, you'd have probably said the game we're most likely to lose is the St Mirren game, actually. Probably we're, we're more likely to not win the, the uh, Ross County game than the St Mirren game, as you'd be saying, looking at the month. I think Hearts is still the hardest game, and then Kilmarnock, and I think St Mirren's probably the easiest game out of that lot. And we did lose that game, so it's going to be... We really have to win this game to start picking up form again, because... If we if we don't win this game, then Rangers and Celtic will just keep on taking steps and steps ahead, and it's going to be really difficult to catch them because it's going to be a two horse race if this keeps on happening. You know, we de we need to be more consistent than we have been in the previous years because years before last, um, our home form was excellent. You know, we were making Patology a fortress, and it was our away form that we were really struggling with. But last season, it was the tides had t have turned. And it was our home form that we were really struggling in, and that's why we really, really lost ground in the top two. But our away form was immense. You know, we had the best away form in the league. If we played like that, if we did at home, we would have won the league. So you know, it was it was very diff. It's been very different, and um, 
we do look a lot better at home so far this season, and uh, maybe apart from the Vierka game, but we definitely look better at home than we have than we ha than we did last year, and it's our away form that seems to be go be go being a bit iffy just now. So we really need to start picking that back up again because if we can put in a consistent run on both fronts, then I think you know we could have a seriously good season here. And it, it's so hard to think that you know we're two league games into the campaign and we're already sitting we're already saying you know one more loss and then Celtic and Rangers are just miles and miles ahead which is true because they don't they, they won't drop many points this season um you know I think that we can expect Celtic and Rangers to lose what f five games six games max so they're not going to lose many games. So we need to take advantage of games we really should be winning because it's not easy. You know, we can't rely on having to go down to Celtic Park or going down to Ibrox and picking up a victory because although we did have a good record at Ibrox last season and we drew, and we drew at Parkhead, you know, we can't, you know, lose stupid games to St Mirren and Hamilton and then expect to go down to Ibrox and pick up all three points. That's not how it works. So we, do, we just have to... Um, Concentrate on every fixture coming. Try and get, try and just pick up the three points and go from there. So now I'm gonna get into my preferred eleven. So in goal, I'm gonna go for Joe Lewis. And a lot of people have been complaining recently, especially in the last couple of games, at Joe Lewis saying, "Oh, he's not the right man for the captain." You know, he looks very shaky. Joe Lewis has played exactly the same that he has been in previous years. You know, he's still been our commanding goalkeeper. The only reason people are saying he's not playing as well is because the, there's more impetus on him. You know, more people are focusing on him because he's the captain. Because he hasn't played any worse than he has been in previous years. I wouldn't say he's playing necessarily better. He's just playing the same, but people are focusing on him more than they normally would because he's now the club captain. So I don't so I don't think um there should be this much amount of pressure on Joe Lewis that some fans are putting on him because personally I think he's playing fine. And at right back, I'm not gonna go for Shea Logan, I'm actually gonna go for Zach Reiner. I put him at right back in the my preferred eleventh last week. I don't actually think from what I've seen of him that right back is his proper position. But I definitely think he's a better player than Shea Logan is, who's who's definitely looked a bit iffy recently. So I think he's the better option to play at right back. For two centre backs, I'm gonna go for Scott McKenna and Andrew Constein. I would like quite like to see Devlin get a game at some point because I do think he's a better player than Constein. But um, you know, his bones seem to be made of glass at the moment, so hopefully he will get into the squad at some point. So left back, I'm going to go for Greg Lee, obvious choice, one of our more, most consistent players so far this season, new signing, well, on loan. So the two centre mids, I'm going to go for Lewis Ferguson, didn't play the game last week against Dundee due to suspension, but he's going to be back and fit for this match. And to partner him is going to be his usual partner so far this season. It's going to be Futsu Ojo. He looks like he's coming into his game. He needs to stop getting booked as much. I think McInnes has had a word with him about that. But if he can keep up his game, you know, as the hard tackler in midfield, I think he'll be all right. The two on the wing, I'm going to go for Ryan Hedges on the right. And on the left, I'm actually not going to go for Nigel McGinn. I'm going to go for Conor McLennan. Because he looked, when he came on last week against Dundee, he looked like a real threat. Although his shooting was more of a threat to the people in the stand, you know, when he was running at defenders, he looked dangerous. So I, th I think that he's the right man to play in this game. So at centre forward, I'm going to go for, well, not really centre forward, behind um, Sam Cosgrove, I'm going to go for John Gallagher, obvious choice there, you know, again, being one of our most consistent players so far. And up front, I'm going to go for the main man, Sam Cosgrove, got us the win last week with that booming header late on. I think that um, he has been one of, if not the best player for us so far this season. You know, he gets his stick, Sam Cosgrove, but at the end of the day, he scores the goals. You know, without him, I don't know where we'd be this season. So, you know, great thanks to him, because there's been a, a few rumours in the past couple of days link, linking him to Lazio, I think it is. Very strange one there. I don't know what's going on there. It's just a rumour at the end of the day, so who knows. But um, I'm very confident he's going to stay at least until next season, probably probably further on because we need him. He's our main man. So now I'm going to get on to my score prediction for the match. And it's going to be a tough game because it always is going down to Rugby Park. Although we do, we do have a very good record there. I remember that um, you know Steve Clark always said that it's at Rugby Park especially, you know, he didn't he didn't like coming against up against Aberdeen. I don't think he'd ever beaten us there. 
So I, th I think that we're going to continue that winning streak at Rugby Park. And I think we're going to win the game tomorrow by three goals to one. I do think it's going to be a tough match. I do think they'll score because our defence hasn't been as tight as, we have, as we'd like it to be. But I think we're still going to get the goals to win the match. I think... Um, they, Kilmarnock might score first, but I think we're going to fire back with a few goals. I think Cosgrove will definitely score one, if not two. And I think John Gallagher will score because I've been saying that I've been saying it a lot that you know this is the game John Gallagher is going to get the first goal. Then then it doesn't happen. I say it's going to be the next game, and the next game, and the next game. But I, I do think this time that John that it's going to be John Gallagher to kickstart his hopefully goal the scoring streak for Aberdeen, and hopefully we can pick up the vital three points at Rugby Park tomorrow. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. Click the like button down below if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to Aberdeen Fan TV and hopefully the next time I see you, Aberdeen will have picked up three points against Kilmarnock in the Scottish Premiership tomorrow. Until then, everyone, stand free. Goodbye.